Hi, you're watching OC Donut Steel. This is my husband, Evan. Hey, and this is my wife, Alana. <laughs> How you doing? Good. What? So we're drawing, what are we drawing well, today? Well, today I'm the artist. Oh my gosh, that's true. <laughs> so yeah, looking at this, you can tell, what can you tell? This is a different style from what you've seen if you've looked at some of the other videos on the channel. This is the first video that Alana did all by herself. Well, you're actually inking it. Yeah, at um, this point, you've already penciled it. Yeah, I penciled it. I didn't record that. Sorry. You'll just have to use your imagination. You had the idea for the Charm Sisters being attacked by a demon? Yeah, well, they're vanquishing. Oh, okay. Is that typical, just a day in the life for these girls? Oh, yeah. That's like before lunch. Because you love this show. Yeah. I mean, it's been off the air for 13 years, but you love it. Yeah. What is it that keeps bringing you back on Netflix to watch it again and again? Um, well, part of it was just that they did a new Charmed, mm -hmm. which isn't as good. So hype was high for a moment. Well, so I watched the new Charmed, um, which uh, it just, they, they copied every single episode of all like what is it eight nine years of charmed and like took the highlights and oh, okay. put it in this first season so you watched the whole first season yeah of the new one yeah i wanted to give it a shot because like arguably the first season of like real charm wasn't the best. that great no, no, no. okay the opposite <laughs> and so i was like well i'll give it a shot like let's watch the whole first season see what happens but they basically copied every one of the major storylines from the original Charmed and put it in this one season. So they've already defeated the source. They've already done all of these things. They've already broken up the charm power. They've already gotten it back. Mm -hmm. It's kind of garbage. Wait, what's the charm power? The power of three? Yeah. What is the power of three? Well, basically, uh, their powers didn't really come to be until they solidified their bond with each other mm -hmm. um, and like sometimes that's even uh, it even shows visibly on the book of shadows which is kind of the source of their powers their family magic um, the the symbol it will separate when they've been fighting too much and they've broken their bond so mm -hmm. that and then they lose their powers <laughs> so it really sounds like you have a deep understanding of the lore of the charmed universe I think any girl that grew up in the 90 to, 90s to 2000s. My 90s girls will, will remember this. Where you at, girls? Comment it, down below. Yeah, let us know in the comments <laughs> if you have seen Charmed before. And if you watched it all. Um, so basically, the new series of Charmed wasn't as good. And since it brought back all these memories of all these like highlight, pivotal points in the Charmed sisters' lives, I decided mm -hmm. to revisit the series. Mm -hmm. Well, while you're rewatching Charmed, um, I don't know, did it ever come to your attention? Did you know there was a Charmed comic book? Like an actual one? An actual Charmed comic book? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Is that kind of exciting news? Yeah. Would you like Would you like to check out some back issues of that? Yeah, get it for me. You know what the funny thing is? So the Charmed TV show ran eight seasons. Mm -hmm. And then, then they did a company called Xenoscope or Xenoscope, which also does like sexy grim fairy tale books <laughs> oh. you know well, you've seen it i'm sure perfect you're, for charmed i'm sure you've seen like these covers at conventions and stuff like when they have um artists have their display and it's all like sexy little red riding hood mm -hmm. that's the company that's putting out that like alice in wonderland kind of stuff cool we and need they, more of that yeah, for sure and they also did a, a charmed adaptation but they did like a, well a continuation they did a charm season nine in comic books and a charm season ten in comic books. What do you think? Cool. We haven't actually looked at them yet, but it's, I mean, it's a real comic because I was going to ask while we were doing this, mm -hmm. this art down below, do you think we're ready for a real charmed comic? Should we just try to get the license? No. No, we're not no, there yet. Not even. I mean, I did pretty good with Phoebe and with Rose McGowan, but man, poor Piper. She's a beautiful lady and I just wasn't able to capture that. I think maybe like my lines were a little too harsh on her face and then add the ink to it, it made it even more harsh. Is that maybe, what I'm doing right now? Yeah. Am I being harsh to this poor yeah, woman? Yeah, maybe next time instead of doing black on her lips, I would just start do doing the color that her lips should be. Okay, so not even an ink outline. And then, Yeah, and then like maybe the lines on her face should just be a darker color of the skin mm -hmm. and not black. I do think the lines I'm getting here off the nib are maybe a little thicker 
than they should be. Yeah. I mean, you're giving me such fine lines. Oh my gosh. You kind of, <laughs> like, so this is maybe a fourth of the artboard page. Like if you had drawn this, like one to one, well, like up to the size of, it was this illustration, these figures were basically the entire page. Mm -hmm. There would be, there's more room for, you know, thicker lines at that point. You, you draw it small enough and it becomes like a real, uh, beyond my skill challenge oh. to ink something that fine because these are such fine illustrations. They really were. Uh, and you were using photo reference for the actresses, right? Yes. So these are taken from pictures of Rose McGowan, Holly Marie Combs, and Shannon Gordy? No. <laughs> Alyssa Milano is the one in the middle. Alyssa Milano. Okay. Um, yeah, but in the, in the photo that I was using, um, Shannon Doherty does appear in the photo and I cut her out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, which, you know, wasn't any kind of symbolic thing. It's just I wanted to have room for the demon. And it was the power of three, which uh, you don't see in this, in this photo of it or this video of it, but that's actually what I titled the page on the top that says the power of three. And then right below that is the sister, the Halliwell sister symbol that is on their book and also on their cat's collar. And, um, you know, then they're right in front of their book, casting a spell that is putting this demon into the pentagram that is drawn on the floor. Do they ever do a power of four? No. Um, do they ever all four sisters appear together at the same time? No. Uh, there was a falling out with, uh, uh, what's her name, Shannon Doherty and the other girls. Who played Prue. Yeah. And she kind of got, yeah, she kind of got a, a rep rep reputation for being difficult to work with uh, during the show mm -hmm. and so I don't know if she quit or if they fired her but they killed her off and that's Wait, when like on screen did someone shoot her uh, I forget I haven't gotten to that part um, in rewatching it okay. but yeah she gets murdered um, the sisters are in mourning and then they find out that the power of three is not broken and they meet Rose McGowan, who is their half-sister, because um, their mother had an affair with her white lighter, which kind of ties back into the story of, you know, how uh, Piper is in love with Leo, who's their white lighter. Is this what it sounds like when I start talking about Spider-Man? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right. So do you think, so they did the season nine and 10 in comic books, and then actually a couple years ago, Dynamite did another new series, and what I'm asking you is, do you think you could do it, like, if they asked you to write a one-shot or a back, like a backup story, could you do it? Can I write a story for the Hallowell Sisters? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I've seen every single episode. Um, actually, this is my third time watching it. <laughs> Is that enough? <laughs> yeah, my sister, she was like, you need to start treating this like a swear jar and you'll need to start putting a dollar in for every time you watch this uh, the second time. And I was like, challenge accepted. Ha ha, this is the third time. So um, yeah, I definitely could. I know them well enough that I could even do break off stories of the sisters mm -hmm. after, you know, uh, Wyatt. Uh, starts, you know, kicking butt and the sisters can start having a normal life. What about Leo? I'm just naming names I've heard. Well, Leo became mortal. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah, he clipped was his he wings for her. He no. was an angel? Yeah, well, he's a white lighter, which is kind of like an angel, but not necessarily. Were they not allowed to say angel on TV? Uh, no, they've said it okay. several times and, and it's always like this little joke, like, no, he's no angel. <laughs> but um, he was a was in the army and he saved a lot of people's lives he was a medic in the distant and, past yeah like in world war one oh, and then when he died they made him immortal um and a white lighter is like their healer and they guide their witches that um you know they have charges and these are new witches mm -hmm. and they help guide them and heal them and uh yeah, so that's what a white lighter is. But Leo ended up having to give that up in order to be with Piper. You know, I also want to make a technical note here that I believe this is your iPhone that I'm oh. using to record this. Nice. Uh, so this would be the iPhone 10 footage. Mm -hmm. And I think it's full HD 1080, although for this video, when we edit with the commentary, it 
downgrades it to 720, mm -hmm. but still pretty good. Uh, if you want to see the raw footage that's not sped up, again, let us know in the comments. I'd be happy to uh, make that public or at least uh, an unlisted video. Cool. Probably public though. And we're actually coming to the end of this clip, but there's one more. We got one more charmed drawing uh, on the agenda today. And this is me from Soup to Nuts, pencils to colors to inks, drawing Rose McGowan's character, who is, don't tell me, wait, wait, don't tell me. This is Paige. Yes. Okay, this is, this is Paige. And my hand's covering now, my right hand is, but uh, you could also see that the closer to finished version of the drawing that you started. Mm -hmm. We're a pretty good team, right? Yeah. You want to keep working together? Sure. Do you have any contract demands or anything? Uh, we'll, we'll revisit this after I speak with my lawyer. Okay. Um, what do you think of this likeness? I told you who it is. It's Rose McGowan. Right. What do you think? Close? Yeah. <laughs> You're so sweet. Uh, she's got like, I would say like vaguely Battle Angel Alita or anime eyes. Uh -huh. Cause she's got big eyes, yeah. Rose McGowan. Yeah. Uh, but I think I made them bigger than they are even, you know, typically. Well, it looks it's good. It's exaggerated. Um, you definitely were very kind to her when it came to her abs. <laughs> um, she, you know, is a gorgeous lady, very thin, so that's great. But I don't, I, I mean, uh, Alyssa Milano definitely had those abs, mm. which is why she wore lots of those low cut shirts. I also, you know, this is from 1998, 99. Remember that era? It was, oh, the, yeah. it was the tummy era. Yeah. There was a lot of exposed bellies going but on. But she didn't. Very Not so much. And, and neither did Holly Marie Combs. Uh, there was a few episodes where, uh, like she was, Holly Marie Combs was possessed, mm -hmm. and that happened. Um, but Paige usually went for the femme fatale look of like the um, the sweet lines that kind of curved, and um, you know, kind of the more is less kind of thing. It, but they also had that plot too, where evil doppelgangers or twins or alternate dimension versions would come in. That only happened once. That was only one um, time? It no, really usually, seems like I've seen it a couple the times. The other times they were either possessed or there were spells involved where, you know, they just uh, were like their their envy or their or their greed or the, some some kind of like form of uh, weakness would be amplified and it would change their personality. Oh, okay. I get it. That only happened one time. No, well, no, no, no. It only happened one time where their alternate universe stepped in. Oh, okay. What about like um, evil demon imposters? Um, there actually was an episode with Jenny McCarthy. <laughs> Why? Why haven't you shown me that episode? I did. I tried to. You wouldn't watch it. No, I remember you saying yesterday you got to come into the room and see this, and it was Rain Wilson from yeah. The Office. Charmed has had lots of different guest stars and guest appearances, mm -hmm. but I've, I've been watching it for the third time, but I started halfway through and went to the end, and then I was like, ah, I missed the whole first, so I need to I start, gotta over. start over. And so they happen more towards the end where there's three witches who try to trick the book into thinking that they're the sisters. So mm -hmm. they actually do cast a spell to make them be the sisters and the sisters are just nobodies. Okay. Well, we're getting near the end of this video. So any final thoughts on Charmed? Um, I got lots of final thoughts. It's not going to fit. Um, so comment down below if you want to see more of this Charmed stuff or if you want to hear more about it because I will tell you all about it. Yeah, she'd be happy to do more Charmed art and talk about it. Absolutely. Uh, oh, one other media. Did you know they had charmed novels from back in the day, from like 2000? No. Any interest in going to the library and picking some of those up? Maybe. Okay. All right, yeah. Like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.